Vegas. What it do, man? It's your guy, AD. We're 98.5 KLUC. We are Las Vegas. It's number one hit music station. That's a fact for sure. Tonight, Vegas legend. We're going to go, we we put the legend tag on you. People are going to be mad at me for that. Um, but uh, but, you, but, you do, <laughs> but you do have that tag, King of the North. t Rab. what it do, baby? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that plan right there? That was perfect timing. I'm not gonna lie. The the sound uh, the sound effect. Good lord. God is um, ill. Oh my god. My dog AD. Yo, uh, splash in the building as well. What's the handshake I just did? That looked like some Texas Longhorn or some Devil stuff. No, nah, nah, it's just not. Hold on, man. <laughs> Well, not they, no what the hey, heck, what, what the hey, fuck was we, this? Hey, we we anti devil for okay. show for Th- show. Thank you. Please. You know what I mean? And fuck the Illuminati. <laughs> no bad vibes in here. That's some that's mob shit. That's just brother shit. Okay, you know what I mean? Go. You know you're never gonna get on now that you just said F the Illuminati. You know it's never Bro, gonna R- hey, already sparred with them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I already sparred with them. I love it, man. First of all, thank you for your time. Bro, thank you. Um, hey, before we go any further, bro, I appreciate you and what you're doing for the culture out here, bro. It's all love. You know what I mean? I know niggas be trying to hate. No matter what you whatever no matter what you do, somebody gonna feel a way about it. But bro, ain't it's not nobody who really bringing, you know what I mean, artists to the light and having niggas come and spit. You know what I mean? Like this really like, you know, I just wanna say I appreciate you, dog, for real, for real. I appreciate you saying that. That that's that, that And that's, you fuck with everybody. It's not no favoritism or you know what I mean? I just I didn't seen a lot of different people up here. So I just facts. wanted to say I appreciate it, bro. No, hey, that's love. That that makes me feel a warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, I said it. Um uh <laughs> but no, I, I feel like we kinda come from like and I have I don't know your music taste yet. I just know your music. Right. And right. sometimes when you hear how somebody else like spits or makes music you have an idea of what kind of background they come from so like i came up on like why i mean first of all watching the breakfast clubs the high 97s the big boys even like way back when the funk flex freestyles before they was before they was on youtube back in 99 when you got the whole or like when you got dear summer hove that was the early 2000s or when you You got to catch the shit on a tape yeah like my pops is from new york so we used to go back to new york every thanksgiving and he he would he would dub the kid Capri's the funk flexes and then I'd have though I'm from Ohio mm. the rest of the, the rest of the school year I'd have these tapes that I would just listen to all the New York mixes on and it was a beautiful thing and my friends had no idea what I was on because they wasn't from it they didn't understand they didn't they get just it wasn't fucking with that yeah so like that's that's where I come from even like probably like my teenage years to like early college years watching like bricks or like Reed Dollars or like all them Philly cats on like, like bro Reed Dollars dog, bro dog yeah so like taking it back like like this this is where this is where I'm, I came up on Jada Kiss Fab Dipset all of that all the real rap Jada Kiss my favorite rapper I, I see and this is this is this is this is this is where I'm going yeah, with it that's one of my favorite rappers for sure so when I turned you on for the first time I don't know when that it was it was this year I don't know what record it was to be honest but I'm like oh shit this dude right. really raps and this dude raps how I like to listen to rap um, right, that's what's up. It's man. Pe- people. It's people. When I say really rap, people don't always get that, except for like the people that really rap. Um, so thank you for really rapping. Um, man, hey, I appreciate it, dog. Um, somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. There's a few of them in the city. There's a few of them. But you, 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 you really bring like that, that like that nitty gritty like East Coast rap around, which right. is crazy because you're from Vegas. Right, right. Born and raised. But that's the shit. Like when I was coming up, that's what we was, we was listening to everything really. But I have an uncle that cut hair, so I really grew up in a barbershop. So you got niggas coming in there with mixtapes every fucking day. Non-stop. So we listening to all of that shit. So, And it's weird, but I grew up on East Coast music. Right. Minus Pac and E-40 probably. Other than that, I I wasn't really like West Coast music like that. I was more so on some South shit and on some East Coast shit. Which is crazy because you're from Vegas, but that's also dope as hell to hear. While we're here, um, and I'm going to ask you this... uh, because we're here, and I don't know when else I'm going to get to ask you this on Wax. Uh, who's your top five while we're on this subject? Top five <sighs> ever, right now. Top, top, give me, give me, give me your favorite five. Your favorite. F- favorite five. Uh, Hove. Hove. Nas. Kiss. Um, Scarface. Uh, and it's it's like a lock between um, Big Daddy Kane and Rakim. Oh shit! Okay, all I right, yeah, choose. come yeah. on, yeah. That's probably gonna be my. You know what I mean? I want to. I, I want to throw Wayne in there, but yeah, you know what I mean? I want. Yeah, I want to throw Wayne, Wayne in there, but I, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wayne, 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 Wayne probably can go Wayne? between uh, him and the Scarface might be interchangeable, but Scarface yeah. man is fucking ridiculous. Though I feel like he one of the most underrated rappers, bro. Which is also crazy because he's from Houston, and once again, you from Vegas. Like, right, yeah, right. Like, nah. there's the, no, no. There's Scarface, no. the Diary is one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. Dude, <laughs> I still listen to that shit to this day. It's crazy, crazy. crazy. Um, Wayne would be in my top ten, uh, but 
who would be in my top five to replace that? My favorite five, I guess, would be, I, 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 I like your list for real. I would definitely have Joey in there. Um, possibly Cole. Um, as well, his I mean his catalog is now getting very is very large. So I so I think you can definitely place Cole in Cole that. over Kendrick. You got Kendrick on that joint. Um, Cole. Um, but I, I in my top and in my favorite. I, but I'm not mad at somebody for saying Kendrick. I'm just a Cole guy. I can relate to Cole a lot more. Um, yeah, that one of my favorites too. Um, who? K. That one of my favorite. He just yeah. got he just got more time to put in. Yeah, that's it. And, and I wouldn't be mad at somebody if they said they that he was in their top five. I'm not mad at that at all. If someone puts Kendrick number one, I'm not mad at that at all. But it's also tough to put someone over Hov because his resume and his catalog is stupid. He's has he's he's had the best career in rap ever. Yeah, like you it's can't. Not, I don't think it's debatable. You can't even put like Biggie and Pac in that. Just uh, rest rest their souls because their catalog doesn't touch Hov's. They didn't have enough time. It, exactly. So like, and it's, there's not anything on we there. Watch, we watch Hov like fall off, come back like. Wearing All of that shit, five. like yeah, <laughs> they ain't to play crazy. games with them. Facts, um, no, for real, for real. So back to rap. Uh, so you you released some joints this year. Um, like I said, I don't know which is the first one that got me hip. First of all, I got hip to you like early, early like, um, well, whoever's watching this is 2019. But right, right, it's right definitely now, 2019. Right now it's 2018 that we doing this interview. <laughs> um, and I got hip to rap probably around like February or March. Um, mm. someone was talking about you. Um, so and so, rap, rap, rap. I'm like, okay, I need to look this dude up. Look him up. I'm like, thank you. So thank you for talking about him. I'm glad I looked him up. Now I'm a fan and now I have somebody else in Vegas that I really like on the MC side. Man. But not even just the MC side. You you make dope songs too. Um, all you can't handle. Uh personal favorite is Shooter Sleeve. Shooter Sleeve is um, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, and I love the basketball references. I know you I know you a hooper um, and a hoop yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure, for sure. Lord, okay. You got some joints this year. Um, the latest that I that I have gotten hip to is the collab with Wave Mammals, who I'm also a big fan of. Bro, Wave is dope, man. Wave is dope. Wave, wave is dope. I don't think people realize how dope Wave really is, man. But he's he's a monster. He's a problem. He just he ahead of the curve a little bit. Yes. He just ahead of the curve a little bit. The, people they gonna don't realize it in like ten or fifteen years when they look back. Oh shit, this dude knew what he was. And he producing this shit too. It's a problem. Um, I would like to see a video uh, with you in it on Walk the Line. Right. Yeah, bro. I don't. I, I like the bro, way they I had, did that, but I would love. It was would, wild. I'm like, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like, I ain't try to throw bros under the bus, but I ain't know. I didn't even know it was a vid until. He was like, bro, the song about to come out. Cause I, bro, we made that song in like maybe March. Oh shit. We made that shit in like March. And it just March. came out like two months ago. Or like, yeah, like not even yeah. That. So then like he just, you feel me? I'm like, I would have I liked to be in a little video. You know what I mean? Facts. But nah, it was all good though. That's The video was fucking crazy. The video was hard, man. Dude, whoever, was whoever, whoever, whoever's idea that was, was, was hard. Um, but wait, I, you know what I've, I haven't got there that I'm looking forward to, I guess, is a rad project. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I don't per se. Forgive me. I don't know what the rest of the catalog looks like from like years because I know you've been rapping for a long. I, if nah, you haven't got, been rapping for I a got long time. For sure, for sure. Um, but what can we expect in the future though? When do we get a rap project? Twenty nineteen. Yeah, we getting one next year for sure. We're okay, getting, we getting on for sure. Um, I'm working on that shit now. Actually, I've made hella music. I just for this next joint, I just want to make sure I I really put my you know what I mean my my best effort forward. Like I just want this shit to be crazy. Facts. So I, I've made a lot of shit. I've trashed a lot of shit. Like. But this year we're gonna get a project for sure. I'm thinking like February, but I don't want to okay. put a date on it because it's, it's not That's done yet. Too, but by the way. yeah, yeah. Okay. But I got a lot of shout out uh Taryn Jarrell, producer out here. He's probably he's like doing the uh most of the uh, production on there. I'm doing a couple joints on there also, but um he's gonna be the producer for that shit. We like tag team and that shit. That okay. shit is gonna be crazy. True. By the way, your voice really is like the music. We were yeah, about yeah, that a few yeah. Ago. No rap voice. <laughs> you know what? Facts. Um, so you're from you're from the north. <laughs> yeah, North Las Vegas, man. And and, and and how you say it is N O R F. You you, can't, you you don't you you say north or do you say north? Because either, either you can way, say how you want to say it. We, okay. we we uh um where I grew up like like you know what I mean in the north it's like if you talking to an OG they say the old north and the new north because okay. like you had like the old north that was more like on some gang banging type shit. Okay, and they continued to build on it over time. So then you had like a like a new generation of cats that grew up in North Las Vegas, but some OGs, they, it's like a separation. Okay. So for some cats, the F is the separation between the two, like from one generation to the next generation. North was the OG generation. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. TH is more the OG shit. I mean, for me, like, cause I grew up like civic center, like old North and then moved like farther over. Like when I would start going to Cheyenne, like on this, you know what I mean? A little bit farther over, but it's all it's all North Town. Right. But I only say that just to let cats know, like, especially like younger cats, because a lot of people want to be a part of it. Right. But you got to understand, it's still it's a gang connotation when you say North Town. Right. 
Okay. So I'll be trying to let cats know, like, you know what I mean? Like, some cats hear you say that shit, and that shit is like a problem. Like, yeah, so be careful when you, how you like use you, it. Like, you like you banging on them type shit, like, right. that type shit. Okay. It's not It's not just, like, on some cool shit, like, I live in North Las Vegas, like, right. nah, I might, I might take it, like, you on some crip shit and some shit like that. <laughs> in in, no, in North Town. Yeah, I don't want no problems. By the way, um, no, yeah, North okay. North North Las Vegas and West Las Vegas. That's, that's like the only actual gang neighborhoods out here. So does Vegas really have gangs? And I'm not I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but like when you talk gangs, like are there like gangs in Las Vegas? I'm gonna say it like this: I grew up, um, like when I I was born in the Jets, the Playboy Blood neighborhood okay. in Las Vegas on the West Side, and that shit was real gang shit. My pops was real like gang affiliated like i've seen like some wild shit but the thing is out here is you have so many people that's that's on some bullshit some corny stuff yeah i mean like to where it's, it's a lot of people who because you know out in cali you can't really fake gang bang there's no false flag it ain't no you can't be saying cousin saying blood on some slot shit you can't do that out here out here it kind of it's kind of like anything goes because it's cats not always going to check you like that but people got to understand it was so many cats like in the in the heyday of banging in California where this shit started, right? People was coming from niggas was getting ran out of Cali or was trying to like, you feel me, take their shit elsewhere. And a lot of people from California came to Las Vegas, which makes sense and started gangs. And it was gangs that's actually, you know, like the Gerson Crip that was started out here. The Playboy Bloods that was started out here. And that shit was real. Like people was getting dropped off. People was getting killed like I don't brought and, and it's people in my age bracket that got killed on gangbanging shit. Like I know people who was killed strictly off gangbanging shit. In Vegas. Yes. Whew. A lot of people. So I mean, but I, I'm not I, I'm not the I'm not the person to try to compare like what's you know where's where it's crazy or at and all of that, but it's real gangs out here. I think now probably it's it's not as crazy. Right. You feel me? But But Vegas has gotten it in, Vegas gets it in and whether, Man, whether it's it's on a, you got to really the next. when you when you talk about Vegas, really think about it. Like we talking about drugs, like the drugs move crazy out here in Las Vegas. When you come to Vegas, you whether it's weed, whether it's pills, whatever, people come out here to party they're looking for drugs. Right. And you got prostitution. You feel me? That goes crazy it's out Vegas. here. Everything's All of here that for shit you. is gang shit. Right. You feel me? That shit is 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 gang activity. You nice. know what I mean? Period. So yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. LPs. What's that mean? Help me out. Okay, okay, I got yeah. you. Okay. You ain't, you ain't trying try to get too crazy, too deep in that shit. But. No, no, I'm with you. Yeah, but I, I appreciate I, the explanation. I, but I, yeah. Like, no, but I just, I, I, I just hate that people try to act like it's, you know what I mean? It's like candy out here, but cats come out here, you be like, you over, you living in Summerlin, or you living in Centennial Hills. How are you, you a living, gang member? It, it's, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that you not uh, that you not well, banging. However, however you could, because at that point you got money and you should be out the hood. If if you're yeah, smart, yeah. so does it, it doesn't mean you still can't be in the gang. Yeah, yeah, but it, but that's the thing. Because I mean, most most people that's banging they not from a they not from a neighborhood, right? If you not if you didn't grow up in that neighborhood, how are you from that gang? Like it's cats yeah. you know claiming the neighborhood that they never even been to, didn't grow up in. And it's a conversation I have with a lot with some with some of my homies, and they're like, how can like gangs that started in L.A. How can how can like Crip and Blood? That it's whatever it is, what it is. Um, how can you have those same gangs in Georgia, in New York? But then I've also received the explanation that like, okay, people from these like LA yeah, have relocated yeah. to those cities. They'll move around. And or so, they'll or they'll, or they'll get this stamp. Like it's like it's sometimes where it's, it's top dogs who get locked up in other cities and other states, and then they start chapters out there. Like So it all makes sense that there's no nobody it's not fabricated just because you're in a different location. It's still it could it could as long as you are 100 with it, like it could link back and it all makes sense. Yeah. I'm, yeah. But for that, like it's gang, it's gangs out here for sure. Okay. I feel like the, I feel like the activity is not as crazy as it was in maybe early thousands or in the nineties. Right. But it's, it's always going to be some gang shit going on out here. Period. Well, all the gangs out there. I want no smoke. It's all love. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 We ain't tripping. You yeah. Me? Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Um, so talk to me about institution, uh, 18 B. What is, what is this? I know it's a local, it's a place, right? Yes, um, it's 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 a spot for creatives. It's a a boutique where you can go buy gear. They got clothes in their shoes, all of that stuff. Uh, they're more known for putting on events. Okay. So I mean, they brought little baby out here. They brought. Uh, Do you have links there? Do gun out like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Abu, he's a, I've I've known Abu since he was like a kid. Like we met. I used to work at a community center, and he would come up there and play ball. Okay. You feel me? I, I used to be up there trashing him at the gym, like, what? <laughs> no, nah, I ain't, ain't going to do him like that. Bros be hooping. But 
that's what I, I met him then. And I, and he's always been like a young kid that was always trying to be involved in like the music and what was going out, like going on out here. He would throw events and, you know, different stuff like that. And he started working at institution and then from there became like a hub to where um, I just used to go up there and just pull up and just chop it up. Like we would just go there and just link and just politic. But right. they, they, they started really putting on a lot of like dope events out here. And it's a spot where if you need to come have your album listening party or you need to put together a, 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 wine, and, a wine and sip, art and sip, whatever they call it, right. whatever the case may be. A lot of people use that just as it's a like space. It's like a workspace, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, shout out, shout out Will over there and uh, D. All of them, they always show love, man. Good people down there, man. Um, and did you used to hoop? Or did, are you would you hoop in high school or? Bro, I, n- I never play organized basketball. But I was you, just one of them hood though. niggas that just you feel me hoop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I always played basketball. I, I never really played it like for real. I was always on some and one shit. Like, how, how would you rate yourself? Are you good? I'm straight. Okay, I'm straight. I'm not as good as I used to be. I was like cold at one point in time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like cold for real. Right. I'm alright now. Like, I, I just hooped the other day. I was giving niggas buckets. You know what I mean? But right, it's niggas <laughs> who that. really can hoop though. That's why I ain't gonna try to act like you know what nice. I mean. I'm nice like that. But yeah, I be getting. I'm, I'm getting I'm a, it. I'm a solid role player. If it's a serious, you look like game. you look like you could put some I, shots on the board. I used to hoop. Um, I was more, I'm also I was also the guy that if you if you if you take it through, I'm gonna I'm gonna hack the crap out of you. <laughs> don't don't try to do no dumb shit because you're you gonna we, we definitely gonna fight afterwards. You look like you, foul be, you hard. be fouling niggas for sure. For facts, sure. facts. Um, I'm trying to win the game, man. Um. No, uh, uh, and I and I hear a lot of basketball reference in your in your raps. Um, yeah, yeah. And and I also, have you ever been on a two K uh, video game? Bro, you post them the other day. Like I, I have mad records that that should be on two K by now, or, or Man, NBA Live for that matter. Never, never like a legit. No. Like I've gotten close. Like like I've done like some NBA shit. I can't really talk too much about the shit, but I've done like some shit. I've gotten close, but I've never like had my shit on the video game. Like that's like bucket list. Like some shit I've been trying to do for a long time. I just don't really. I ain't know like how to go about it. Right. But man, yeah, I just make that type of music. I just make that nice. type of, you know what I mean? Get ready to, you know, lock in, get hype. Like just that type of shit. Yes. Facts, facts. Uh, who's your favorite hooper of all time? Oh, Mike. That's easy. Okay. Damn. Gotta say Mike, man. Serious. I'm not mad at that. That nigga Mike was different, man. I, I, I fuck with, hey, you feel me? It's some Kobe Bryant. It's, yeah, it's, I'm, it's, I'm it's, a it's, Bron it's, guy. I'm a Mellow guy, though, too. Yeah, Iverson. Yeah, Mellow was cool, too. Yeah, facts. Shooter sleeve logo or the, the artwork. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah they're trying to they push Mellow out the, out, the, uh, out the league right what? now. What? I don't even know. I, he might be pushing himself. Um, the game, his, his game is not formatted to the game of the league right now, I feel like. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel you on that. And he's not the same killer that he, I mean, he just, it's, it's Mellow. I don't know what it is. Because I always think, like, it was, it was really Mellow. It was. There go the sign. Good. It's all good. We good. We good. The sign. It's, it's, right. did, did you hit it with the jacket splash? Did you put too much splash on the sign? It's all good. We we still rolling. That's we don't good stop. dinner. That's um, good dinner. <laughs> um, no, I've been I've been a fan of Mellow since. Uh, appreciate you. Um, since Syracuse. Uh, and then with the, obviously in the Nuggets, the Knicks. I'm a Knicks nah, guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm about, to, I'm about to say yeah. I just remember. We let it go. We good. We good. <laughs> too much splash. I'm about on to them. put a hole through this wall. <laughs> <laughs> But it was uh, it was Bron and Melo. Like, yes, they was like neck and neck type shit. It was crazy. Like even from high school. Yeah, but I just I feel like uh, Bron just lashed it. Just uh, Bron's a different dude, man. Yeah, just like his bro. I don't know what he be doing on his workout shit. His what his eating regimen is, but Dog. I've never seen a player like stay at that level for that long. That they shit say crazy. he spend a million dollars on his body each year. I'm like, well, that makes sense. Like, in, like health wise, like I'm like, okay, this a smart man though, very smart man. Um, by the way, big yeah. shout out to the, the the basketball scene in Vegas. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't right. I didn't realize I've been here since 2014. The first two years I didn't really realize it was a scene, and then I uh, got locked in with my guy, Coach Jay Wody, Worker Don't Eat, uh, Coach Henry over at Durango, um, and those guys. Shout out Durango, shout out Durango, shout out Durango, man. Those guys put in work. Um, and the, the basketball level is out here. Is shout out uh, Bjorn. I think he's still coach yeah, over know, there. Uh, Bobo played out here. You know Bobo. Bobo. How he played for Oregon. Oh Bobo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bobo. yeah, Manu yeah, Bosa. Manu Bosa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's all right. Um, it's another player right. too. I can't. He's all right. He, no, he be hooping. He's, he's all right. He's ready. He's ready. I, I've seen. I've seen him. I've seen him in a few games at Oregon. I ain't really seen much to be honest. And there's, there's no shots, but I'd be also. Got, is he? Is he getting buckets? Yeah, bucket, so like, he's if I'm bucket. comparing Bobo to Zion or or or, 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 or RJ around, Barrett, he's gonna be in top five. If, once, I'm, I'm not. If I'm comparing Bobo to RJ Barrett and Zion Williamson, it's it's a there's a distance. It's like it's like it's like twenty six point because he's he's freakishly tall and he can put the ball on the floor. Just because you tall don't mean that Sean shoot. Bradley was tall touch. as fuck. He could shoot. He got touch. He could dribble. You feel me? Like he got Bobo's about to be right. Yeah, he, he bros that put me on because I was he saying the same thing. Like he about to be 
ready, bro. I said, I never we, heard of this dude. He's about to be ready. He, so he's going to be good, just as good in the league as Zion and RJ Barrett. Yes. Yeah, he's going to be like a game changer for a team. Once he, once, whatever team he goes to. But he's just as good as Zion. You already said it. You said yes. I'm just, I'm just reassuring that you're saying yes again. Yeah, it's like pick your poison kind of thing. I'm oh, not going to say wow. he's better than Zion. Wow. You could compare it's all, it's all love. It's all love to nah, the man. You think Zion going number one? I, th- I think a team would be stupid not to take him number one. I'm not mad at RJ Bear, not at all, not at all. Mm. But I think a team would be stupid. I just no, no matter what you need, you yeah, don't matter what you need. I don't care what you need. Like I, I would love for the Knicks to be number one. Um, I'm also a Cavs fan, but I mm. hope that he does not go to the Cavs because I don't want him to fall into Bron's like spotlight. And right, right, it's just not going to because they already good. comparing bro to Bron. Yeah, like, yeah. like and they're really two different players. Like I think he's more like a like a Chuck, like a Charles Barkley. Um, yeah, yeah. Body shape wise, you coming down the lanes fast. He is more of a big man. Like yeah. he, he might get more like you know a little bit more athletic as far as moving around. You know as time goes, but he's he's a big man. Facts, facts. And I, I I'm not gonna be in the lane if he coming through. I'm out. Nah, I'm going back no. to the bench. He um, running some shit over. Facts. Uh, so Rav, right in front of you, we have this book. How do dinosaurs clean their rooms? Now we do this segment called Nighttime with AD. Um, but nobody really wants to hear AD rap any books anymore or read them. So tonight we're gonna call it Nighttime with Rav. Right, or T Rab, I keep calling you Rab. I don't know, but I exactly. No, I go, yeah, I go by I mean, T Rab, Rab, okay. whatever the case, man. Um, so if you look, check out the book, open it up. It's it's it's, it's pretty short. Um, uh, but you go, you can you can read it. Just read it regularly in rap voice because your voice is the same as you rapping. Right. You can rap it if you want some flow to it. Um, you could sing it. You could do whatever you want to do to it. I could put a beat on. We could have somebody hit the table on the lunch, uh, the the lunchroom style action, and we are gonna hear how you put this. Uh, how do dinosaurs clean their rooms? Uh, to work. Tell the story, bro. I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let me go through this joint. It's nighttime with rap. How do dinosaurs clean their rooms? You've never heard this before until you watch this right now. I bet. How does a dinosaur clean up his room? How? With a big bucket loader or a shovel or broom. Uh. Does he stick all his teddy bears under his bed? Does he? Or shove them all into his closet instead? Uh. Does he put dirty socks into the back of his drawers? Ugh. Does he hide his old jammies behind bathroom doors? That's foul. This shit do flow. <laughs> no, a dinosaur doesn't. He does all his chores. Uh. He picks up his toys and puts them in rolls. Yeah. See, that kind of went away from the rhyme. It did. It come back. It did. And into the hamper, he throws dirty clothes. Mm. And all the ripped paper goes into the basket before either mom or papa can ask it. Ugh. His room is quite tidy. The shelves, bed, and floor. Thank you. Thank you, little dinosaur. Oh! t rap Nighttime with t rap Yo, this How nigga was chopping. How dinosaurs clean their rooms? <laughs> this <laughs> nigga was chopping. Facts. Um, yeah, so just wild. to bring it back, uh, you, uh, <laughs> thank you for that, by the way. We appreciate you. No, yeah, no problem. That was man. hard. Um, project we can expect in 2019, early 2019, facts, possibly facts. February. Um, I'm going to be dropping a new joint in a new video. It's called Best Rapper Alive. That's gonna be coming. That shit probably gonna be coming in January. Okay, yeah. Shout out, uh, shout out, Ro for show. I seen Bro was up here. He yes. shot the video. Big fan, by the way. Big yeah, fan, by the way. Bro um, be spitting. Y'all got the No Jumper drawn out. Bro, go look up that No Jumper T Rab and Ro for show. Check it out. I ain't bro. I haven't heard no shit like that out the city in a long time. Just on some just rapping, just flat out rap. The shit. Visual cool too, by the way. Bro, that video crazy. Facts. Yeah. Oh, that by the way, you crazy. produce by the way too. Let's 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 not shy away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a producer. Um, I think trade. You, I think you produced most of the stuff that I've listened to of yours. I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the last project I did pretty much the whole thing. I think it was one other beat on there. Um, actually two. Uh, Summit. Did the intro? Shout out to little homie Summit and uh, Aim Major. He did he did uh, the uh, the drive joint, but yeah yeah. The, the rest of the project I did the whole thing. You enjoy one more than the other, rapping or producing? Uh, it just depends on how I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like uh, with producing you have a little bit more creativity to like make a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like you get to create a whole new world through the production. Of course you you paint a story with the lyrics too, but facts. You know what I mean that. But I don't, yeah, I don't know, cause cause writing when you when you writing and you get into that groove and you yeah, you know I mean you get to saying some wild shit. That shit is a like a feeling, like it's a crazy feeling. You can't get that. You can't. So you can't. You can't even explain it, low key. Like yeah, yeah. Unless you've been there, you can't do it. Yeah, it's like it's like when you hooping and you're like your shit just start falling and it's like some. I'm just shooting my shit and it's, I'm not thinking about it. It's not no concentration. Like what's that MJ pose? Right, yeah, right. Like, I can't. Yeah, I can't even explain it to you. Like that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I love. I love them both, man. For real. Facts. Um. Now. Uh. And I don't like to. I don't want to bring other people's names up in certain people's interviews. But there's, I, I don't know what the problem is. Um, but so like, 
two two of my favorite spitters in Vegas. One happens to be T Rab. Um, one of the other, and it's probably I probably have like a top. I have a top five with some solid spitters, but like my top two was probably uh, you and Cassie Chase. Top um, two, and um, you heard it first. AD is top two, um, interchangeable right now. Um, but what's the deal? Why? 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 Because I, I feel like I feel like you. I feel like you cool. Um, I feel like I feel like Kaz is not. Um, but I don't know what the, I don't know the backstory. So like, why? Why? Why do y'all not get along? If that's what it is. But Kaz also be silly, so like I never, I can never tell if Kaz is serious half the time either. So like, what's what's the problem with y'all? <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna just tell I'm gonna just tell you for me this shit real quick. Like, in the, uh like the like the the latter the latter parts of last year, like into early like this year, I had like gotten to like a situation. I had some shit happen to me. Somebody had like laced my shit, and I like was like gone for like. For like four months. Wow. Like niggas ain't like laced like the weed or like Yeah. Okay. So they put some shit in my shit. So I was like I was like spaced out, you feel me, for a long time, like on some niggas ain't know if I was ever gonna be the same again. Like if I was ever gonna come back from the shit. Like I was out of there. Damn. I was legit scared. Yeah, <laughs> Damn. yeah. It was a while like and 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 I I do wanna bring that up just to, you know what I mean, like cause I it's a lot of this I know a lot of people was like, What the fuck is what what is bro got going on right now? But yeah, that's, that's why, like, so I just, I tripped out and I was just spazzing on everything, like, whether it was somebody I seen in, in the street, what, like, I was just wilding, like, I just was on some wild shit, so I had hopped online and I was just saying some, uh, you know, some, talking some shit to everybody pretty much. Right. And I was going back and forth with two other people, uh, just talking shit or whatever, like, I was wilding, you know what I mean? But yeah, I was talking shit. And while I was talking shit to these two other people, he uh bros kept on like trying to like hop in the conversation trying to say shit to me. Okay. But I wasn't talking to him, so I didn't understand, like, you know what I mean? And then he just kinda like started saying like some outlandish shit like low-key. So I, I feel I just I told bros, like, you know what I mean? You feel me? We just had like words. Like I just told him straight up, like, bro, you don't need like don't say shit to me, like, and just, you know what I mean? And then from there, on like bro start dissing and some more shit, like all kind of like weird shit. But I'll I don't. I don't really know, bro. I don't. I don't have no relationship with him. Have you guys ever met in person? Uh, I met him a few times because he. We got like a mutual friend or whatever. Okay. But the times that we met, it was like all love. Like it wasn't no. You know what I mean? But yeah, he just was saying he just was coming at me weird. So I just you feel me. So it was just a, it was just a bad time all around. Just yeah. Like, just no. A yeah. Cycle yeah. Cycle of events, low key. So that's why, like, you feel me, bro, feeling away. Like I was wilding. So you feel me? He could feel away, but. Like the little bro, just be on some weird shit. Like when, I, like when we was like having our conversation, like he just all he just like he just hop in and say some some whole shit and then like delete it and I don't know what's good, bro. Like I I just don't fuck with him. You know what I mean? No, I got you. I wish everybody the best. Like Facts. I'm not, I'm not on no weird shit or no. And I I get nothing I mean? but positive vibes from you. I get nothing yeah. but positive vibes from Kaz like every time that we talk. Um, that's I, that's why I'm. I, I would I would prefer y'all to be cool, man. Um, yeah. But I, I also know that shit just, shit just doesn't happen sometimes. No, nah, yeah, don't. yeah. We probably, um, yeah. I mean, because honestly, but it's, we could we we really just need to have a conversation. Because I, I, I don't like just doing y'all too. Yeah, I don't like doing that back and forth. The internet because it just feel like it's a, it's act. You, I, it's just like an act to me. I don't know what's really you know what I mean. But I, I never I never run into him. I never see him. So shit, I don't know. Well, someday, hopefully, before I die, we are gonna have Kaz and the rap song together. That would be dope. Yeah, that song. shit probably not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, I figured you was gonna ask me about that shit. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just I don't. I don't fuck with bro. I don't have no. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't, I don't have no feelings like that type. You know, towards this shit. But yeah, I just. Well, I appreciate you talking about because you didn't have to do that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also appreciate you shedding light, shedding light on the first part because that's all something that can happen if some watch. Bro, I mean, hey man, to to any because for me, I, I'm I'm just on some I'm on some straight edge shit because the shit I went through was so wild. I'm cool on all that shit. Like. I, I feel but it. for anybody out there, man, just be careful, like, who you around and who you dealing with. Like, you just don't know what the type of shit people be on, man. You really Facts. don't. And you don't want to mess your life up or your nah, day up, whatever. Like, not at all, because it can take one time and your shit will be, you know what I mean? Facts. For real, for real. Facts. Um, I don't I don't want to end on this. I want to end on something different. Um, oh, but however, I will speak on, because I, 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 I got into it with a couple people on on Twitter, social media a couple months ago. Um, and this, this is leading off what she was just talking about. And 
it had me going like for like the next two days. I'm thinking, but you also like watch what they say, like, oh, if he say this, I'm gonna say this back. Right, and right. so I'm in my head, like creating conversations that haven't even been had. Right. <laughs> so it's a whole bunch of negativity that's so Bro, the internet is the internet is yeah. ridiculous, bro. I'm like, man, if he say this wild shit, I'm, I'm gonna have to pull up on him. I don't know where he live at, but I, he, he, I hope he don't say this. No, nah, like, bro, because I'm telling it was it's a lot of bro, like this my brother, like this it's a lot of times where bros really had to holler at me, like, bro, like you wildin', like, you know what I mean? Cause right. it's just People like, but you gotta you gotta realize like this is not somebody talking to you in person. Right. I've never the shit I've seen people say. I've never seen somebody say any of this shit to somebody in face to face. Like I just it just doesn't happen. So I'll be like I try to remove myself as far as I which, can. Which, which I see shit. you're also yeah. very good at. I've seen that as of recently too. Yeah, I just um, try so to remove respect. my shit from the shit. Like yeah, I, you can't let it fuck your your little shit up, man. For real. I need to I need to learn to do better uh, at that. That's my 29th. Stay, stay the hell out of social media conversations yeah. that could be negative. Yeah, um, cause you're doing your thing, bro. I ain't, I what can anybody you. say to you, bro? Facts. I mean, I can say a lot, but but but. Uh, but I mean, like for, I, to to you know what I mean. What is what does it really mean, bro? You you doing I, a lot more for the city than, bro. The majority of anybody, you know what I mean. I appreciate you. So I appreciate anybody saying that, but I appreciate you. No, that's um, facts, man. Saying that. Uh, what's crazy is I, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm long winded here, but like uh, I moved out in 2014, and told you what I grew up on, and I'm like, damn, nobody is doing this in the city of Vegas. Right. Nobody. There's no freestyles. There's no radio interviews. I'm like, man, what the hell? There, there's got to be. There's a lane wide open. I, this is what I want to do. Somebody got to do it. Like I'd be a fucking fool not to do it. And then right. I met my man Richie. And I'm like, shout out oh, Richie, man. Shout out to Richie, man. And then life has been great, man. Um, so, so uh, once again, thank you for your time, man. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. T Rab, the legendary. I said it. North Town. Um, talk to me, Splash. So, who's the best uh, rapper in Las Vegas? Um, that's tough. Um, <laughs> the best rapper. <sighs> that's a dope ass question. That's you put me on. I'm, I'm not used to be on this side of the side of the table. Um, I don't know. From from I'm a. My, I'm going go with my favorites, and it's probably gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be between those two that we were just talking about, T. Rab and Cassie. If I had to pick one, um, we'll say that for the next interview, um, the next conversation. Right. <laughs> um, I'm, but well, no, because really, you gotta like. I, I can't. I can't do that without. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a safe way out, low key. But and I'm not afraid to admit that right now. But I also, and I'll, I can come with. I'll come with my top. I'll definitely come with my top. But I want to make sure that I do my due diligence on the research side and also have my backups. Um, Cause I've listened to s several pieces of body, pieces of work from both. Um, but for me to make a decision right now, um, it wouldn't be a smart idea on my part, but you know what? 2019. We in the game. Before, before January is over, I'll have my top for you. Um, and it's probably gonna be between one of y'all two. Um, no, that's what's up. Um, I, I mean, I, I like I like Wave. Um, I also like It's Ray. I guess. Um, I don't shout have. Out, I don't, shout out Ray, man. I like Ray's a real spitter too. Um, I just don't have enough from Ray yet that I think I would put him in the uh in that category. Um, but we about to hear we about to hear raps. But anyway, we got yeah, the, we yeah. got the freestyle coming up. Um, and before we get about here, man, where can they follow you at? Um, everything is the truth. Rap T H E T R U T H R A B B. That's uh every all the social media pretty much. So and um. I'm on all the uh, uh, streaming sites, T Rab, T dot R A B B. It's about it, man. Facts. Oh, and real quick, um, I I I I hit you in the message uh, DM. Uh, I'm I'm keeping bringing stuff up uh, earlier this year. So I was in a bit of a situation back in May, um, man. and I was I was I was kind of I was I was on the side of the road, um, and if oh, that yeah, yeah. paints a picture for you. Oh yeah, um, and uh, and I saw I saw someone drive by, and I haven't met you yet, but I'm like. And that was rap. And it wasn't you after I asked you. But like seeing a familiar face in like a time of like high, right, right. high level of stress, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm cool. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so the fact that I didn't know that it wasn't you is a beautiful thing for me. Um, so that you have a lookalike out there, a doppelganger. Um, right. So shout out to that person <laughs> because that person lowered my stress level for the next 10 minutes of my life, which was necessary. Um, really random as hell. Um, yeah, you know when you start doing your thing, you gotta have a clone just in case. You know what I mean? I dig it. I need. I need, yeah, to, I need yeah. to start Get working. Get your clone game up. Facts. Man. There's enough uh, enough <laughs> waffle color brothers out here. I should be able to find one. Um, and the last thing I wanted to hit, I know I keep bringing stuff up. I'm sorry, but uh, so I just moved to the northwest side of town. Okay. Um, a year and a half ago, and before that, I was on the southwest side. Mm. And so now we make like trips to like North Town. My, is that am I cool to say that? Yeah, yeah, bro. Okay, hey, okay. Hey. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not that. Not. Oh, yeah, it's not it's that so, crazy. Yeah, and so yeah, I started yeah. being over there uh, more often than I was when I lived on the southwest side of town. And it hit me. I'm like, this is where all the black folk in Vegas be at. And I'm like, okay, 
because like it wasn't my okay. I, I see like when I go to the high schools or whatever, I see like the black population. Right, the but demographics. Like, I was never around it though, like enough. Like I don't know, I don't know where the black population is at in Las Vegas. And then so I started being in that side of town more often. I'm like, oh shit, voila. We're that's where here. everybody at. Yeah, I'm like, man. Hey, nor hey, God. between North Las Vegas and the West Side, bro, that's it's that. Too. That's like what, what you you're mean? gonna see. The West Side and uh, North Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Literally. The shit is okay. like it goes, it goes, hand, it's like it spills over into each other type shit. Like it goes hand in hand. Okay, I, I live up in the Centennial Hills area. I don't know if that like that's what. Like the new, uh, that's uh, like that's like all. New. That's how far the north like goes all the way up, but it's not like that's like technically not North Las Vegas anymore. Right. But shout out Centennial well, Hills. Because North Las Vegas is a separate city than Vegas. Correct? Yeah, it's its own city. Um, but I, I like Home I like my area. I like kind of being secluded, like kind of up in the cut from away from like the Southwest. Is so busy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like so much. That wasn't even like created yet. That's what I hear. Like there was nothing. <laughs> right, yeah, that shit didn't. They, bro, they just didn't even go up that far. That shit was just blue diamond. That shit like it didn't that shit exist. was just. I fuck I'll, with the I'll Southwest though. Like <laughs> all all the different sides got they different. You know what I mean? Things to them. And shout out to East Side too, man. Facts. I fuck with the East Side tough, man. Big facts. Big facts. T Rab, the Truth Rab, Splash in the building. Appreciate you guys. Um, be on the lookout, man. Straight up. Bars hey, on hey. the way. New it's shit AD. coming soon, man. Ninety-eight point five KLUC. Whoop. Hey.